Hola, my friend. Hola. Hi, over here. Surprise. I got a blue beard. Take a good look at it. <laughs> I am so happy because I feel the energy vibrating off my face powerfully. I'm also so happy because you are watching me right now. You have impeccable taste. Cheers to you. I'm also happy because I'm having some glazed lemon loaf tea, freshly brewed in a real fancy teacup. I am the queen and you are my kings. Yes, you are fellow royalty. So it is a new week and this Mario Lopez drama will not go away. An update and a reminder, last week, Mario Lopez got into some hot water because he basically said that if his young child told him that he or she was transgender, that Mario Lopez would be unlikely to let that child live in the gender that they identify as. Mario Lopez said some ignorant things, some things that were lacking in nuance and information, and he apologized for that. And I think his apology was sincere. I do. A lot of people don't. And that's okay. Mario Lopez was entitled to his opinion. Mario Lopez was equally entitled to his apology, which he gave. Nobody forced him to. Um... You know, I'm I'm double down Perez. If I don't want to apologize for something, I won't. But then again, I'm my own boss, so things with me are different. Speaking of bosses, if you don't know this, Mario Lopez has been hired as the new host of Access Hollywood. He's set to begin that very soon or he was supposed to begin that very soon, there are now reports that Mario Lopez may be fired from Access Hollywood before he even begins because of his comments about trans children, the comments which he already apologized for. According to reports, there was a meeting held and a decision has not been made yet. You want to know what I think about that? Dumb! What Mario Lopez said was ignorant and hurtful. He apologized. I don't think he was malicious or came from an awful place. Firing people because they have an opinion that's different than yours just seems so un-American and so wrong. Just wrong. I don't even think Glad would want NBC to fire Mario Lopez or PFLAG or any official gay organization. This is a teachable moment for him, and I think he's learned his lesson. Ah, oh, I need a tip. T. Tip. T. I need a bit. A T. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess it also depends on the level of awfulness, right? I don't think he said something racist. I don't think he said something... He didn't even say anything, in my opinion, transphobic. It was most likely informed by him not knowing trans people, but he didn't say, oh, trans adults are awful or this or that or the other. He was specifically talking about children and his views as a parent. <sighs> I had a really good meeting on Friday. Can't get into it, but... All right, let's just move on because there's a lot to get to today and a lot of things to catch you up on, including an update on all of the Travis Barker drama, which a lot of you, actually, shockingly, most of you agreed with me when I talked about this on Friday. The whole 20-year-old messaging his 13-year-old aside 
a lot of you, most seem to think, you know, she, the 13-year-old daughter, Alabama Barker, shouldn't be posing how she is, wearing what she's wearing, using all the makeup that she is. And there is new information. The family of that drummer that hit her up, Graham Sirota from Echo Smith, his family revealed that Graham suffers from autism. Let me read to you what they said, okay? We've never publicly addressed this in the past, but given the events, we feel compelled to speak out now to offer some additional context and insight into the unfortunate misunderstandings that occurred and clear up the deeply hurtful mischaracterizations of Graham. As a child, Graham was diagnosed with aut has autism spectrum disorder and has difficulty understanding social cues. Graham's challenges have always been a non-issue in our family and his outlook on life inspires us every day. Okay. Okay. I mean, it definitely does change things, but... I don't know, it's not a legal excuse, right? Like, if things would have been really bad, if they would have been out on a date, God forbid, and if she said no, and he said, and he ignored it because he has difficulty understanding social cues in a court of law, having autism spectrum disorder won't hold up. So it changes things a little bit, but I don't know if it changes things a lot. And if you do struggle with certain things, then your family needs to be on top of it, right? Like if if the the family should be more vigilant. I don't know. It's it is. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. This one. This is a harder one. Because maybe the family is vigilant or maybe he really is functioning, just not at a hundred. Uh, but Alabama Barker, the 13-year-old, has spoken out herself. And she says, hey guys, I am posting on behalf of the drummer of Echo Smith. He DM'd me a while back in 2006 and then once again in July saying I was beautiful and invited me to a barbecue at his house. He is very sorry about the situation and regretful. I forgive him and would like for this all to be over. Probably somebody wrote that for her. And, you know, understandably, Travis Barker was probably informed that this guy... <sighs> it's just a complex issue all around, as I said on Friday. Before I get to some ASAP Rocky news and more music news... Ha! 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 I've got to give shout outs to so many people. Ashley Paul gave me $1 on Friday and I was so appreciative of that. Whether you donate, contribute, tip, giving me a dollar at the strip club, a dollar or 10 or 15, anything is appreciated. You are appreciated. And even if you don't, thank you. So Ashley Paul, I love you. Sandy Carter. I'll throw you some beads, Sandy Carter. Um, Taylor Gilman. Mwah, mwah. Love you, Taylor Gilman. <laughs> Tara Jenkins. 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 Spicolo 01. Spicolo. <laughs> Minor Alvarez. Mwah. And Mam of two, or mom of two. I may have written that down wrong. All of you guys have such a big space in my heart. Keeping me warm and happy and blue. <laughs> I love you. All right, I mentioned ASAP Rocky. He has been released from jail and I do not understand. I do not understand this. Like why release him now when the verdict has not come in yet? 
And why didn't they release him a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Like, what? What was the determining factor to release him now? Maybe because they think the verdict will be innocent? I don't know. But the verdict in the ASAP Rocky case is expected August 14th. So, a while's away. But let's say that ASAP Rocky is found guilty. There's no way he's going back to Sweden. <laughs> like, he will just never set foot in that country again. Right? Because he's facing six months in jail is what the prosecutors are asking for. Mm. Oh, this was so good. I don't want it to end. I like this teacup, but it's too small. This this I should maybe use this for coffee. Actually, my coffee is bigger than this. This is for when I have multiple cups a day of tea. I usually only have one one a cup, one one cup a day. All right, from ASAP Rocky to Katy Perry, an update on her legal battle where she lost her copyright case to that Christian rapper Flame. According to the court judgment. This rapper is due $2.7 million because the song Dark Horse copied his song. Of that, Katy Perry is only responsible for $550,000, which for her, pfft, chump change. She makes more than that one night in concert. Speaking of musicians, Pink and Jessica Simpson both got mommy shamed for dyeing their children's hair. Can you imagine if I... I mean, whatever. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Mommy shaming is like a sport. <laughs> um, I probably would have an opinion that I would want to share if they were bleaching and burning the scalp and all that jazz, which adults do. But... I'm pretty sure the dye that they used on these girls is like semi-permanent dye. There was probably no burning at all. These are good moms, people. You're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. I am not a perfect dad. I work too hard. I am. You know, you guys know how hard I work. And I'm a great dad. I'm a great dad, but I could be an even better dad if I worked less. I'm not there yet. I can't. I need more money. I, I need it. I, it's, and I'm not embarrassed to say that. I've got three kids in private school. I support my mom. I support my sister. Hallelujah. Let's keep it moving. Speaking of children. Ay, Dios mío. Ay, ay, ay. A lot of you know Honey Boo Boo. Well, since her mother, Mama June, has been off the rails recently, Honey Boo Boo has been living with her 19-year-old sister, Pumpkin. During a recent Facebook Live chat with their fans, how can I word this in a way that won't get me demonetized on YouTube? Honey Boo Boo did this. I think y'all know what I what I was getting at. I just pray to... Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to pray. I don't think that's the case. I hope. I was going to say, I pray to God she never saw her mother do that. But I don't think so. You know, Alana's what? 12, 13, around there. I think she just saw that on some TV show or some film. I hope. Right? Kids see a lot of... Wacky things these days. All right, on to some couples news. Brody Jenner, the son of Caitlyn Jenner and Linda Thompson, and also the star of The Hills, has called it quits with his wife of less than a year or about a year. Actually, a year. They, they were together 13 months exactly before she just moved out of their house. The reasons, Caitlin Carter wanted to have a baby and Brody didn't want to have a baby with her or now. Additionally, their marriage of 13 months 
has not been legally bound. They were never legally married. They got married in Bali in June of 2018, but then they never followed that up, obtaining a marriage license. Okay. Next season on The Hills. Do The Hills producers know that Brody Jenner has me blocked on Instagram? You guys should tweet them and... MTV. Actually, a reminder, tweet everybody that I talk about in my videos and DM them and Instagram comment if you're so inclined. I gotta be on the next season of The Hills, yo. Come on, MTV. Let's make it happen. All right. And even more couples news and happier news. Chris Martin and Dakota Johnson are back together. Just less than two months after calling it quits. The pair were spotted at a pair of events in Los Angeles. They're not even trying to be DL that they've rekindled their romance. Chris and Dakota were spotted at the, at the rap party for one of her movies. Then they were spotted at the premiere for one of her other movies. He and her are fully back on and he is really being a supportive boyfriend. I think they're gonna get married. Go into the chapel and we're gonna get mad i'm imagining my talk show and that's gonna start and i'd get up and dance going to the chapel of love I had a burp okay in even more couples news and talking about getting married wait now it's gonna look giant <laughs> maybe the I wish I had something. <laughs> Wait, there we go. There, no, no. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, hold on. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, ah. Uh. All right, whatever. Anyways, Nicki Minaj, congratulations. She has officially taken on her husband's last name. She is now Nikki Onika Tanya Mirage Petty. In other news, updates, I didn't get to these developments in my YouTube video from this weekend. If you missed it, and if you love watching YouTube and staying up to date about YouTubers, on Saturday, I posted a video updating you guys on everything that every one of your favorite YouTubers have been up to. But uh, Olivia Jade and her sister, Bella, according to a statement from the sorority, have not been kicked out of their USC sorority, Kappa Kappa Gamma. The statement says they are active members. Well, at least, actually, at least Bella is. It's unclear if Olivia is an active member. But how is that possible? Those girls got... Is she going to... What does that, what does that entail and what does that mean? She dropped out of USC. I'm confused by that. Also, an update of a YouTuber that I didn't get to on the weekend... Grant Thompson, who sadly passed away, the king of random, uh, uh, he was paragliding. We now know what happened, and we know what happened because Grant was filming with a little mounted camera, mini camera, when the awful accident happened. An unexpected change in updraft blew Grant's parachute up causing it to malfunction. He was aware there was a problem, tried to save himself. He was able to activate his reserve parachute, but by the time it deployed, it was already too late. From malfunction to crash, everything lasted less than four seconds. And I think he's got a lot of kids, young kids. I think he's got four kids. My heart goes out to them. And he was so, he was younger than me, just 38 years old. And even younger than that, the granddaughter of Robert F. Kennedy, 
passed away of a reported overdose. I was afraid to even say that, but um, I won't say the other word, D-R-U-G. And uh, she was just 22 years young. Shur Shursha Kennedy Hill. Her body was discovered at the Kennedy compound in Cape Cod. The family is understandably heartbroken and I am sending them positive vibes. Speaking of untimely passings, you know, we, we've been aware of and talked about the sad death of Beth Chapman, the wife of Dog the Bounty Hunter. Somebody broke into, somebody broke into Dog's store. He has some kind of merchandise store and, or like, venue that he sells stuff in Colorado, Dog does, and somebody broke in and stole a lot of her personal items and ransacked the place and there was a makeshift memorial there and they just destroyed it. Dog is devastated and he is offering a reward for information on those who are responsible. So I, I think he's trying to catch them. That's what he does. All right, let me finish this and finish things with something lighter, okay? Ah. My fram, I love you. <sighs> Meghan Markle has upset royal watchers yet again, this time because she chose to include a poem in the new issue of British Vogue magazine that she guest edited that breaks royal protocol. It's a short poem. Let me read it for you. It's called A Note from the Beach. Hello, I am the beach. I am created by waves and currents. I was made of ero eroded rocks. I exist next to the sea. I have been around for millions of years. I was around at the dawn of life itself. And I have to tell you something. I don't care about your body. I am a beach. I literally don't give a uh, I am entirely different to your body mass index. I am not impressed that your abdominal muscles are visible to the naked eye. I am oblivious. You are one of 200,000 generations of human beings. I have seen them all. I will see all the generations that come after you too. I, it won't be as many, I'm sorry. I hear the wisp, whatever. It goes on and on and on. People are losing their dang minds because she included a poem that has the F word in it. And the funny thing is that British people are not prudes. I spent so much time in the UK. Americans are more prudish than the Brits. In the UK, it's common to topless sunbathe. In the UK, there are topless women in the newspaper. Page three, is it? Or something like that? It's People just have it out for her. They ignored the message of the poem and just were harping on the fact that, oh, there's an F word. Because apparently, <laughs> royal etiquette has it that the royals are, are to speak in a certain way. Royals are not an, allowed to have common language. Like, they're not allowed or, or they shouldn't use words like toilet or dinner. Oh my God, gag me with your royal rules. I, I'm ready for this year to be over for her. I can't imagine that, you know, it's like the honeymoon wore off, right? 2018, everybody loved her. 2019, everybody hates her. Hopefully in 2020, people will have taken a freaking chill pill and let her live her life. Let her live her life. And you live yours to the fullest. 
Cheers to you, my friend. I love you. And this is going to be a great week. It, yes, it is. I will see you guys tomorrow. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Make sure you've got the notifications turned on so that we get live chat during every video premiere. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram, The Perez Hilton, and the website, Perez Hilton. Make sure you get personalized video greetings from me, if you want, at cameo.com slash Perez Hilton. Um, sign up for my newsletter at PerezNewsletter.com. Listen to my podcast at PerezPodcast.com. Of course, read PerezHilton.com daily. And for those of you who are wondering, this is Madonna the girly show tour tea. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. See you tomorrow. Adios.